Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Queen & Company just released another sentiment stacker set. So let me just show you real quick everything that's included. There are six dies, so there's three different words and that also includes the outlines. So there's the word yay, cheers, and also congrats. So they're already separated, you don't have to do any cutting apart, so that's really nice. There's also a small two by three inch stamp set included and these have just sentiments and you can mix and match them with the sentiment dies. There's a couple of those that will work independently as well. And there are also two 24 sheet six by six paper pads. So I'll go ahead and go through the pattern paper one first. This is called Cheerful Congrats. These are beautiful colors. I love the purples, the blues, yellows, and greens together. And these are patterns that will work for any theme all year round. There's just one that has an actual design on it with a bunch of balloons. And then there's also the coordinating matte stack that has just the solids. So they're still double sided and you'll have a different color on each side of the paper. So there's two shades of green, a couple shades of the blue and the yellow, and it matches perfectly with the pattern paper. So that is everything that's included in the Congrats Sentiment Stacker Set. And I will provide links in the description box if you are interested in purchasing it. So let's go ahead and get started with card at number one. I'm using a sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 469. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I share, I have all of that information on my coordinating blog post and that link is provided in the description box below. This is a fun sketch since it has so many different elements and Queen & Company's paper pads have so many coordinating papers that it's easy to combine all of those different patterns together. It's also nice to use some of those solids as well. So I did use some cardstock for that background piece. I didn't want to use up all of the solids in that six by six paper pad. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this card front onto a card base. And all of the dies I'm using for my cards are either from this kit or some of Queen & Company's foundation die sets. With the sentiment stacker, it's so fun to use Queen & Company's foam. So they have some glitter foam and also just some neutral colored foam and it's self adhesive. So it makes it super easy to use. I use the glitter foam for that outline for the word cheers. And then I use some of the solid paper for the word and I just glued that right on top. And on video, the two colors don't seem to have a lot of contrast but it does look better in real life. I decided to add a little more dimension to the word cheers. So I cut out another die cut, the same word, the same color, and then just glued it right on top. And then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. This is here's to you. And I'm just gonna put it underneath the word cheers. And I did stamp that sentiment before adhering that foam word down. I didn't want my stamp block to accidentally hit that foam and then not get a nice clean stamp impression. And I'm gonna pop up this scalloped rectangle. So I'm just putting some foam adhesive on the back side, getting nice good coverage so there isn't one side that sags at all. And I'll just adhere that to my card. And I decided to add one more layer to the word cheers. So I cut out one more sentiment. I'm just gonna glue that on top. The solid paper is the same weight as the pattern paper. It doesn't have that heavy weight like cardstock. And now to embellish my card, I used one of Queen & Company's foundation die sets and cut out a few stars. I used some of the solid papers for the stars. So I have some purple and some yellow, and I'm just gonna pop these up using some thin foam squares. And I'm also using some of Queen & Company's bitty buttons. These are really sweet. I chose just the stars and I have some yellow and also green. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place them. And then to adhere them to the card, I'm using some really tiny glue dots. And I put one of the buttons on top of that larger purple star. Then I'll use some Queen & Company bling. I have a nice assortment. They sell so many different types of bling. Sometimes it's really hard to decide which type to use. 
This kit is so nice for graduation cards. You could do some birthday cards with it or just general celebration cards. And of course, you could always use the dies and stamps with other pattern papers as well. I'm always changing my mind where I want to place the bling. And I was trying to peel up that epoxy dot, but it didn't want to come up. So that one's staying in place. And I moved the little frosty instead. So I'm gonna put a few more pieces down. And I was gonna consider the card finished, but I didn't like all of that white space underneath the sentiment. So I used a couple of the pattern papers and cut some really thin strips. These are about an eighth of an inch wide. And I'm just gonna overlap them and also offset them slightly. So I'll put the purple one down first and then the yellow. And I think I should have put the purple just a little bit lower. So I'm trying to nudge that yellow one down just so it's not covering up any of that sentiment. So there is my finished card, and that is card number one. Now moving on to card number two. This sketch is from OWH. It's number 192. This is one of my favorite sketches since you can combine many different pattern papers and then also feature one on that larger rectangle piece. So I have some purple chevron paper for the lower portion and then I just use some light blue solid for the top and this is just on the background. I have some yellow paper. It's got a very light tone on tone, sort of a striped design on the background. And then for that strip that goes across the card, I decided to use one of Queen & Company's scallop dies and I cut it out twice and then I just overlap them just so you had a little bit of a ruffle look on the bottom. When I was laying it on the card, I realized one side was a little bit too long, so I just snipped that off with my scissors. I'll just adhere that to the card. And then before I attach this balloon pattern paper, I'm going to add some scrap cardstock on the upper and lower portion on the back side. And I'm just doing this since it goes over that blue strip across the middle. I wanna make sure everything is nice and even and you're not gonna have that noticeable dent from the extra layer. So I'll just go ahead and attach that to my card front. I'll put my card front onto a card base before I add anything else. And for this card, I decided to have just that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Now for the sentiment, I'm using the word yay. I cut out that word outline from some purple glitter foam. And then for the sentiment, I used the white neutral foam. And I just attached the two together since they are self-adhesive, so easy to use. And I've already gone ahead and stamped out the sentiment. You did it. I just put it on a small piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna layer that with some of the same purple cardstock. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place it on the card. I'm going to put the yay down first and then I'll pop up the you did it. Just using some of those thin foam squares. I'm going to offset that to the left just slightly. So right now it looks a little off centered, but I'm going to add some stars and put these in the upper right hand corner. And I decided to layer two of the stars. So I have the purple and then I put a small yellow one right on top. And I'll pop up all of these using some of those same thin foam squares. And then once I have both of those stars in place, I can finish off the card by adding some more Queen & Company bling. So I have a nice assortment again. I figured um, this is a celebration card, so I'm gonna add some more stars. So I have some purple stars, and then I'm gonna put some of the petite posies in the center of the other stars. And then just a couple of jelly gems around the other bling. Just kind of balance out the rest of that card. So there is the finished card, and this is card number two. Now moving on to card number three. For this card, I'm using a die from Queen & Company's Foundation die set number one. This is perfect to create a background if you have just a bunch of scraps left over. So I have a piece of white cardstock. This is four by five and a quarter. And I just put adhesive all over the back side. And now I'll just start adhering all of these strips onto this paper. And I wish I had gone down just a little bit 
if you can see in that lower right hand corner I missed just that tiny little bit I will get it covered up but I mean, it's really small so I did put some liquid adhesive so that would stay in place and now I just flip over that piece of white cardstock and then trim off all of the extras and then I didn't like the white I think once I attach it to the card, it'll just look like I missed some of that paper. So instead, I'm using a scrap of that blue. And then I'm also putting a little bit of liquid adhesive on that upper purple piece, just where the little end is. I don't want it coming off later on the card. So there is that finished background, and this one will work either direction, horizontal or vertical. I'm going to do this card horizontal. So I attached it onto some purple cardstock and then using another Queen & Company foundation die set, I cut out these ovals. And this is where I'm going to put the sentiment. So I'm using the word congrats this time. I have some purple glitter foam and then some more of the white solid foam. And then before I attach that, I will stamp out the sentiment and I'm using we are so excited for you. I'm just going to stamp that using some black ink and now I can remove the backing on the foam and then adhere that right on top trying to make sure I get it nice and straight and before I adhere the oval onto the card I decided to add some twine across the middle of the card so this is some twine from my stash it's not even available any longer but I thought the blue matched really nicely with the blues in the pattern paper I wrapped it around the card three times and then to adhere those ends I put a piece of Queen & Company's red line tape on top that way it's not going to pull off later on and now I'm going to pop up that whole oval and since it's going over the twine I don't want to have that extra bump so I took two pieces of the foam dimension and put it around that twine and I pushed it together so it would have a little more of a gathering and then I have a couple other pieces of the tape on the upper and lower portion of the oval just to keep them nice and level. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this card front onto a card base. And I'm not sure why I didn't do this first. I usually do that before I add any other layers, but it still worked out just fine. And for the embellishments on this card, I'm using some of Queen & Company's flowers. And I also cut out some of the leaves. This is from their I think it's the Love Jar die set. It has a bunch of little leaves and stems and flowers. I will add a link for that die set in the description box. So I just cut out a few leaves using that green solid paper. And then I'll just adhere the leaves down using some liquid adhesive. I think the flowers look pretty on their own, but adding the green leaves really helped balance out some of the other colors on this card. The flowers are fairly new to Queen & Company. They come in a variety of colors and also three sizes for each of the colors. Really pretty. And to adhere the flowers in place, I'm using some glue dots. So I was trying to decide which size I needed and I ended up using, I think it's the small or maybe it's the mini. And I am putting two glue dots on each of them just to make sure they're going to stay in place on the card. Then just one final finishing touch, pulling out some more Queen & Company bling. I can't ever make a Queen & Company card without adding some bling. So for this one, I have their brand new ice flowers. These are really pretty and sparkly. And then I also have some of the jelly gems. And I'm not sure if the jelly gems are available any longer. I've had them for a little while, so I'm trying to use up some of the older Queen & Company bling. They're constantly coming out with new types. I put three of the jelly gems directly underneath the sentiment. I was just trying to make sure I was getting them straight. Add another ice flower and there is the card all finished. And this is card number three. Now moving on to my final card. This is card number four. I'm using a sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 342. For the background, I selected a white paper with some colorful confetti, and then I'm using one of Queen & Company's border dies. This is the curvy border, and I just cut the very bottom piece, left about an inch, maybe a little less than an inch from the bottom. I did add some of that tone-on-tone -tone 
purple chevron paper underneath so it wouldn't have just that purple cardstock below. And then I have some solid of this teal and then some of this pattern paper with this rectangle piece that goes on the card. And I did cut both of those a little larger than what's listed on the sketch. I do modify the measurements all the time just so it'll work for whatever images or sentiments I want to add to my cards. So on this one, I'm going to have the word yay. I'm going to do it twice. I have some white pearlescent paper for the outline, and then I'm using some yellow glitter foam for the word. And then I also have some solid yellow paper I stamped out so happy for you. Just put that off to the right hand side. And then I'm going to have one of the yays going on top of that sentiment strip. And then I'll offset the other just slightly to the right. And I'm not going to add any extra dimension on those sentiments. I think having the foam was enough. So I'll pull out those stars again. I love using these stitch star dies. This time I cut them all out in purple, one just a lighter shade of purple, popping them up using some thin foam dimension. I'll put the two larger stars in the upper right hand corner and then that smaller purple star will just be nestled between the two yay words. Now just finishing off the card with another assortment of Queen and Company bling. I really like how nicely these purple stars match the purple pattern paper so I'm going to add a nice assortment on this card. I'm also using some of the goosebumps and some of the polka dot epoxy dots. Thought that yellow matched really nicely with the yellow in the pattern paper. And as always I'm very indecisive where I want to place my bling but eventually I figure out the right placement. So there is my finished card and this is card number four. Now here's just a quick recap of the four cards I made using Queen and Company's Congrats Sentiment Stacker Set. I think this is a great kit to have on hand for graduation or celebration cards. I will have links provided in the description box for all of the products used. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.